Bruce here guys and welcome back to another video. Here's a situation for you. Imagine donning a VR headset, stepping into a pitch black spaceship and hearing that bone chilling hisses echo from the shadows. That's right, we're diving deep into Alien Rogue Incursion, the latest entry in the Alien franchise that's gearing up to haunt VR players' dreams. Brought to us by Servios and 20th Century Games, this is no ordinary VR horror game. It's a full-on immersive experience set in the terror-filled Alien universe. Let's break down all the thrilling details and get a sneak peek at what awaits us in this December 2024 release. Don't be a stranger. Like, subscribe, and join the fam for more awesome videos coming your way. A new VR adventure in the Alien universe. In Alien Rogue Incursion, players find themselves in the combat boots of the legendary Zula Hendrix, a former colonial marine with a chip on her shoulder and a mission to boot. Her journey leads her to Purden, an isolated mining planet that holds more than just rocks and minerals. Her objective? Rescue a missing squad mate, survive the twisted labyrinth of the Gemini Exoplanet Solutions Black Site facility, and, oh yeah, make sure not a single xenomorph makes it out alive. Sounds simple, right? But we all know in the alien universe, things are rarely straightforward. This is a story where survival isn't just about blasting xenomorphs left and right. There's a strong focus on mystery, exploration, and digging into the lore of this deadly universe. VR horror like never before, designed for the full immersive experience. Servios has a pretty stellar track record when it comes to VR games, and they've pulled out all the stops here to create an experience that doesn't just look like Alien, it feels like Alien. Creative director TQ Jefferson said they were focused on finding the white space of the Alien franchise, areas of the story and environment that hadn't been explored before. This isn't about unlocking new levels or grinding for loot. Rogue Incursion emphasizes a cinematic experience, one where the player moves at a pace that builds suspense, allowing time to feel the eerie silence and unexpected terror around every corner. VR horror veterans will know that pacing is everything, and this game balances periods of intense action with quieter moments of exploration, where players can piece together the story from environmental details and scattered clues. And let's be real, part of the horror comes from that sense of dread as you inch forward, knowing something is lurking in the shadows but not exactly sure when it'll strike. Meet the Xenomorphs, a new kind of terror inspired by clever girl raptors. So, what about the Xenomorphs, you ask? Well, these aren't your typical run-of-the-mill aliens. The developers drew inspiration from the Velociraptors in Jurassic Park, those clever girls who know how to hunt in packs and flank their prey. So, unlike Alien Isolation, where the Xenomorph was more of a solitary predator, Rogue Incursion has you facing off against cunning creatures that work together to outsmart you. Whether you're peeking around corners or desperately hiding in a locker, the Xenomorphs are designed to keep you constantly on edge, wondering if you're really safe. And it's not just a mindless shooter, there's strategy involved. If you make too much noise, the Xenomorphs won't hesitate to swarm, which means you'll need to stay aware of your surroundings and think twice before sprinting down the hall. They're designed to create suspense without overwhelming the player, a calculated horror experience that doesn't leave you spinning in every direction but still keeps the adrenaline pumping. Tools and Tactics – Weapons that actually make sense in a VR setting When dealing with Xenomorphs in VR, you'll need some serious gear. Luckily, Rogue Incursion doesn't skimp on the arsenal. Zula's tools include the iconic M41A Pulse Rifle, a plasma soldering iron for those pesky welded doors, a med kit, and of course, a motion tracker, the lifeline of any alien survivor. These tools are all designed to fit naturally within the VR experience, so you won't find yourself accidentally pulling out your map when you're really trying to shoot a xenomorph. One of the standout pieces of gear is the plasma soldering iron, which isn't just for show. It's actually used to unseal welded doors, adding a layer of immersion and making you feel like you're really in a survival situation. There's also a special utility belt where all of Zula's items are placed logically, reducing the chance of fumbling around while under attack. It's the small touches like these that make Rogue Incursion more than just a game. It's an experience that demands your full attention. The Atmosphere. Half horror game, half workplace drama. Let's not forget, this game takes a nod from the original Alien movie, which was as much a workplace drama as it was a sci-fi horror flick. Throughout Rogue Incursion, you'll stumble upon HR emails, logs, and messages left by the doomed crew members of Gemini Exoplanet Solutions. It's all part of creating that grim, bureaucratic undertone that Alien fans know and love. This isn't just about fighting monsters, it's about uncovering the story, piecing together what went wrong on Perdon, and getting that dreadful feeling of corporate negligence amidst the horror. A game for all play styles, 
stealth, survival, and some room for exploration. One of the best parts of Rogue Incursion is its flexibility in how you approach the gameplay. If you're the cautious type, you can go slow, check every corner, and crouch behind walls to avoid detection. For those who like a more aggressive approach, there's always the option to go guns blazing, although this might turn every encounter into a fight for your life. This duality makes it accessible to both horror game veterans and those who might be newer to the genre. This freedom of playstyle extends to exploration too. Jefferson and White, the game's developers, wanted players to feel encouraged to poke around, to uncover details, and to have fun with the environment. Whether it's finding useful items in boxes or putting on a leftover company cap, these little interactions add a personal touch to the VR experience. Challenges and VR Limitations Now, let's talk about one of the unavoidable challenges in Rogue Incursion. VR can be a lot to handle, especially in a tense environment like this. Playing for extended periods can be exhausting, and after 30 minutes in VR you might feel like you haven't blinked once. Luckily the developers were aware of this, and they've included plenty of breaks in the pacing to give players a chance to catch their breath. So, if you're feeling the heat from the VR headset, don't worry. The game's 8-hour story campaign is designed with these rest moments in mind, giving you time to relax before the next Xenomorph encounter. A peek behind the curtain, development and the alien legacy. Servios didn't just wing it with Rogue Incursion. The game's development process has been years in the making. It started with a prototype that looked and sounded like an alien game but didn't quite feel like one. After some rethinking, the team decided to focus on the VR experience first, which made all the difference. The result is a game that's immersive, authentic, and true to the alien legacy. A game that fans of the franchise will appreciate not only for its thrills, but also for its attention to detail and respect for the series. The team also built a demo that they showcased to big names like Disney and Sony, and the feedback was overwhelmingly positive. This helped refine the game even further, shaping it into the thrilling, bone-chilling VR experience it is today. And with the new tech in VR gaming, they've created a version of the Alien universe that players can truly feel a part of. Final Thoughts Is Alien Rogue Incursion worth the hype? So, what's the verdict? If you're a fan of Alien and VR, this is shaping up to be a must-play experience. From the dynamic xenomorphs to the detailed environments and tense pacing, Rogue Incursion seems to deliver on all fronts. It's a blend of horror, exploration, and storytelling that makes it more than just a game. It's an adventure that brings the Alien universe to life in a way we haven't seen before. Just be prepared for a few frights and maybe a bit of a workout in the process. If you think you can handle the xenomorphs and the VR intensity, this game could be the ultimate alien experience you've been waiting for. And hey, if you survive, maybe you're cut out for this space horror stuff after all. Ready to explore the alien universe in spine-chilling VR? Hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all things sci-fi and horror gaming.